Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to the Construct Your Life rant. Austin Linney here, Friday rant. You know, guys, today I don't really have a word. I more have a theme. We'll just call it, you know, making sure that you understand that you are capable of everything that you want to do. Too many times in life we seek external validation from others or from a book or from the motivation, which is needed. Knowledge is needed. Motivation is needed. These things are needed. And I've learned a lot by being in conversations and reading books and podcasts and everything. But when it comes down to it, in that moment of turning back or going forward, the only person that can answer that question for you is yourself. Because all the motivation that you need, all the gifts, all the knowledge, all the understanding, all the belief that you need is deep inside of you. Now, a lot of that might be clouded up by stories we tell ourselves, ways we talk to ourselves, feelings we feel about ourselves, or make believe triggered emotions that we feel about ourselves. But ultimately, as a coach and a friend of people that likes to impact others, what I'm really doing is nothing more than cleaning up the mess and the BS that surrounds their own personal stories to unlock the greatness that already sits inside of them. And you out there who's ever listening. Everybody was put on this earth for an amazing talent that has amazing power with inside them. And as far as, as far as you push yourself, as hard as you think you push yourself, you can go further. It all resides in a universe of one. And so when you speak to yourself, when you speak belief into what you can do, how you can do it, who you stand for, what you are, you allow yourself to unlock the greatness that is inside of you. A lot of times in life, what we do is we disregard what's easy to us or what's easy to us as a person. For me, I'm an amazing networker and a great relationship builder, and I have a photographic memory. So I can remember what everybody does, who they are, where their podcasts are, where they live, all these things like that. So I can acknowledge that in a conversation with them, and I don't have to check my notes. Well, that is extremely easy to me. And so I discount it as something that is everybody can just do it. Well, until it was pointed out to me at the last event I host, that they said, I'm like Rain Man with people's personal, you know, who they are, what they do, and it makes them feel good when I do that. I realized that that was not so easy to other people. So instead of disregarding that, I should lean into that superpower in what I am. And I'm an extreme extrovert as well. I love people. Talking to people fires me up. My question to you is, what fires you up? And do you already know that answer and you're running from it? Do you already know what fires you up and you're not leaning into it? You need to read, you need podcasts, you need to have conversations. But the number one conversation that you need to have and the number one person that needs to put put in the work is you. It's you. We talk to everybody and we do all these things and we're running around 
but ultimately we're not having the conversation with ourself. Because it is inside us that greatness is bestowed. And it's not until you remove the bullshit narrative, the bullshit stories that you tell yourself that you don't allow yourself for the greatness to shine through. We, as people, have to get out of our own way. And when you get out of your own way, life unfolds for you so amazingly. And everything that you thought was hard it becomes easy and so on and so on and so on. But it starts with ground zero, you. So my homework to you, my ask for you as an audience, as a listener, is to look inside of you. If you spend an hour a week thinking about what you want, what you need, maybe go on a nature walk for two hours and kind of be with yourself, be quiet, but sit with yourself and allow yourself to step into what you truly are, what I truly know you are, and shine bright. Hope everybody got some value from this. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.